Hello students, how are you all? I hope you all are fine and doing good. Today we will do our chapter halves and quarters. Today's portion is like fraction and unlike fraction. So in the previous video about the fraction, you have learned about unit fraction, proper fraction, improper fraction, mixed fraction and all those things. Today we will learn about like fraction and unlike fraction. So here's the definition of like fraction. Fraction with same denominators are called like fractions. Fractions with same denominators are called like fraction. Suppose I am writing a fraction here that is 2 by 5. And I am writing another fraction that is 3 by 5. In both the fraction you can see the denominators are same. Here the denominator is 5 and here also the denominator is 5. So, these two fractions that is 2 by 5 and 3 by 5 are like fractions. Similarly, I am writing another example for you that is 2 by 7, 5 by 9. Here you can see the denominators are different. Here the denominator is 7 whereas here the denominator is 9. So, these two fractions are not like fraction okay so to become a like fraction the both the fractions should have same denominator okay so here comes the unlike fraction what are unlike fractions fraction with different denominators are called unlike fraction so where the denominators are different that type of fractions will be called as unlike fractions like for example if i I will write 7 by 11 and 3 by 13. Here the denominators are different. Here the denominator is 11 and here the denominator is 13. So these two fractions are unlike fraction. Next is addition of like fractions. Okay, here you can see two like fractions are given and now we will do the addition. What is in the question? 2 by 5 plus 1 by 5. Okay, now these two fractions are like fraction. Why like fraction? Because here you can see denominators are same, denominators are 5. So these two fractions are like fractions. And now we will do addition of the like fraction. How you will do? For this, you have to draw a line at first. After that, what is in the denominator? 5, here also 5 and here also 5. So, the denominator is 5. So, here we will write 5. Okay. And now here, what is here? 2 and here 1. So, we will write 2 plus 1. Okay. Here 2 that comes here and here 1 also comes here. So, 2 plus 1. So, here Again we will draw a big line then at the denominator we will write 5 and 2 plus 1 that is 3. So our answer is 3 by 5. Okay now comes to the next one. Here the like fractions are 4 by 7 plus 2 by 7. So again we have to draw a big line. After that what is here in both the cases denominator is same 7. So we will write here 7. Okay, and now here what is written 4, so at first we will write here 4, then plus, and here what is written 2, so we will write here 2, and again we will draw a big line, after that 7, that the denominator part, and 4 plus 2 is 6, so we will write here 6, okay. Now the next one, here now you have done 2 numbers addition we now we will do three numbers addition that's really same just the numbers that's from two it becomes three okay now two by seventeen plus three by seventeen plus five by seventeen okay what we have to do at first we have to draw a big line and here at the bottom we have to write seventeen because both the all the denominators are seventeen so we will write seventeen after that we will write the numerator portions that is two plus three plus five all the numerator portions we will write okay now you can do 
the division addition step by step okay at first we will do the first two addition 2 plus 3 5 so we will write down 5 plus 5 we will write down in the next line again we will write 17 and 5 plus 5 that is 10 so our answer is 10 by 17 okay now we will do the next one here also you can see all the denominators are 19 19 19 so what we have to do at first we have to draw a big line after that what we have to do yes we have to write here 19 and after that the numerated portions we have to write that is 4 plus 7 plus 1 Okay, now you have to do the addition portion. Again, we will write the denominator 19. Now, 7 plus 4, that is 11 plus 1, we will write down. And here again, we will write the next step, 11 plus 1, that is 12. So, our answer is 12 by 19. The next portion is subtraction of unlike fraction. Okay. Sorry, uh, the subtraction of like fraction here, the it is written wrong. It will be subtraction of like fraction. Okay, here 7 by 9 minus 4 by 9. Here you can see these are two like fraction because 7 by 9 and 4 by 9, all the denominators are same. So, the formula is just the same, just like the addition. Here just we have to do subtraction, nothing else. Okay, so at first we will draw a big line. And what is in the denominator? 9. So, at first we will write down 9. After that, the numerator portion we will write down. Just like addition. Okay, so at first we have write 7. And then the subtraction sign. And then the 4. So, now what we have to do? We have just to do the subtraction. So, 7 minus 4. What will be our answer? 4, 5, 6, 7. So, our answer will be 3. So, here the answer is 3 by 9. Okay, now comes to the next one. Here also the exactly same. At first we have to draw a big line that is 11. And after that the numerator portion that is 7 minus 2. Okay, then we have to write 11 here and 7 minus 2 that is 5. So our answer will be 5 by 11. Okay, I, I think that addition and subtraction all of you have understood. Now comes a little bit difficult portion. Uh, that is the simplification. Okay. In the simplification portion, we will do addition and subtraction together. Okay. At first, in the first one, it is very easy. You just have to concentrate. Here, in the simplification portion, all the fractions are like fractions because the denominators are same. So, at first, we know what we have to do. We have to draw a line. A big line. Okay. And now we have to write the denominator portion. That is 13, 13, 13. So what we will write here? 13. And after that we have to write the numerator portion. What is in the numerator at first? 5. So we will write down 5. Next addition sign. So we will give addition sign. Next what is in the numerator portion? 2. So we will write down 2. Next subtraction sign. We will give in the subtraction sign. And then we will write 3. Okay, and after that, again, we will draw a big line and here we will write 13. So, 5 plus 2, what? 7 minus 3. Okay, so after that, we will write the, again, 13 and now 7 minus 3, that is 4. So, the answer is 4 by 13. So, this is our answer. Okay, now this is 3. Okay, now the next one, here also simplification is given and you can see the denominators are also same. But here the thing is, two mixed fractions are given. So no, that's not a big problem because you know how to convert mixed fraction into improper fraction. In the previous video, we have done this. So at first what we will do, we will convert the mixed fraction into improper fraction. And how to do it? At first we have to do the multiplication of this two. 7 twos are 14, 14 plus 2 16. So this will be 16 by 7. Now 
plus sign we will give 7 3s are 21, 21 plus 4 that is 25. So we will write down 25 by 7. Next subtraction sign 6 by 7. So we have done and now just the similar things that is a big line and after that we will write 7 and here 16 plus 25 then minus 6. That's it. Okay, 16 plus 25 minus 6. And you know what you have to do. Here the answer you have to find out and you have to do it alone in your math copy. Okay. Okay, next comes the let's practice portion. You know what you have to do. You have to write the question in your math copy and after that you have to solve it by your own. Okay, so here the Questions are given. What you have to do to get the question? You have to pause the video here. Okay. And you have to take a screenshot. And after that from your mobile or from your mobile you have to write the question in your mass copy. And then you have to solve. Total you have 5 questions. Question number 1, 2, 3, 4. And five is in, five, question number 5 is in the next page. So I am just... Waiting for one second to take the screenshot, okay? Okay, now and here the question and here the question number 5, simplification. Again, you have to pause the video here and you have to take a screenshot. So, today's work is up to this and you have to do all the sums in your math copy. The sums I have done and the sums you will do. All the sums, total video you have to do in your math copy. And don't forget to practice your sums at home. Till then, stay good and stay happy. Thank you.